This is why I don't do brand deals anymore. When it comes to running your business, you do have to avoid shiny object syndrome, which kind of takes you into different directions that might not be the best use of your time. I do use this brand of sunscreen that you guys ask about a lot, so I did reach out to them, and they said that they would pay me $2,500 for a brand deal. So I'm like, sure, I actually use it, like why not? I forgot that they just don't pay you. The brands, they just don't pay you. I think that's why so many influencers complain about this. It's not that it's difficult to make a video, it's just the correspondence back and forth, and then they'll just flat out not pay you. The sunscreen brand i reached out and i was like i've been promoting you guys for over a year and a half i showed them proof everything it was going to be a 2500 check they sent me a 90 dollars check and i'm like why would that be when i've made four or five times the amount of content than what we agreed upon but the point is uh shiny object syndrome can make you want to do brand deals can make you want to do all these different things as a creator or in any other field that can kind of throw you off track so what you should do is like sit down i did this yesterday Sit down and write down where your time is best spent. Um, I realized that it's best spent on my business, my real estate business, which is why I stopped doing branding because I'd rather sell a house than sell a sunscreen, but that's just what works for me and my career. But it's been really helpful just to stay focused. And then you write down things that like maybe are not the best use of your time. Because even though it's not all about money, your time is very, very valuable and you wanna make sure that you're using it in the best way possible. So instead of hunting down a brand for this check, which is just stressful, I would rather focus my energy on the thing that is my bread and butter, which is my real estate business, which is my long-term career. I still get super like tempted whenever I get an email uh, to collaborate or do a podcast or do this or do that. You just have to like really use discipline and use laser focus if you want to really kill it with your goals. This is such a weird like way that I'm filming this, but it's kind of cool, I don't know. I don't know, this really helped me this year, really helped me to focus on one business and what I would have made as a creator versus what I did just by focusing on my real job, um, it definitely paid off. Like for more business tips from your favorite CEO.